What's up, YouTube guys and gals? Husky Racer here. How y'all doing? So I'm on my way to my son's soccer game. Thought I'd take this uh, opportunity to give you a heads up update on the Kia Stinger. Uh, we're right around 24,516 miles today. Bought the car brand new. It's a 2019 model, premium model, four cylinder. Okay? Not the GT. Um, but it is the premium model. And. Um, so it's got all, pretty much all the bells and whistles except for a few of the real nice things like the, uh, the charging port uh, is not uh, cordless and doesn't have the heads up display. And there's some other real nice things that GT has that, that this doesn't, but uh, it's pretty, this, this, this guy here is pretty loaded. But anyway, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, paint, I have a beautiful color, but the paint application is less than desirable um, the wing I've had I'm on my third spoiler right now um, I guess they use a third party to put the spoilers on and um, every spoiler I've had has had a shitty paint job on it and um, so I'm on my third one first one bubbled up uh, the second one had like little dimples in it and the third one I just got put on there yesterday so I haven't even really looked at it yet um, but I, I'm on my third one. Um, the paint on the vehicle itself, uh, in my opinion, is really thin or something because there's spots on it that, um, you know, to me, look like almost scratches, but, and they may be. I don't know if they're in the clear coat or not, but you, if you rub too hard on this paint job, it looks to me like it will scratch or... I've actually seen where it it uh, it just doesn't look right. So not real crazy about the paint. Um, the other thing that I did was I chucked the uh, stock tires after 20,000 miles. Kept getting flats in them, and you're probably saying, "Well, damn, Husky, that's because uh, you're running shit. You're running over shit you shouldn't be running over." Well, yeah, maybe so. I don't know. Uh, I can't see everything in the road, but I can assure you that. Um, I've had more flats in this vehicle than I've had in most vehicles that I've owned. And um, the Bridgestone tires, performance-wise, they just weren't, they weren't great. So I got rid of those. Now, they might be different on the GT, but on this premium model, um, they were pieces of garbage, in my opinion. Uh, I went ahead and put some Pirelli ATs on here. Very happy with them. Uh, feel really good. Uh, very planted feel. The Bridgestones kind of felt a little wishy-washy to me, right? Like a little spongy or something. So anyway, um, and then I've got a noise coming from the uh, uh, dash area. Um, really not sure what it is. It's kind of a maybe a vibration or a hum. And uh, can't hear it all the time. But as the owner of the car, you know, I hear it when other people don't. And it just bothers me. I don't like it. Um, I did get the windshield uh, cracked. Don't know how it happened. Well, I know how it happened. Obviously, it got a rock that hit it or something, and it has cracked the windshield. So I'll be replacing that soon. But be be ready, man. Dig in that pocket because it's going to cost me seven hundred fifty dollars. Um, and I don't even have the windshield with all the electronics built into it. If you have the a windshield with the electronics built into it. It can cost you over a thousand dollars for a windshield replacement. Um, water. So every time I wash the vehicle, water goes in through the uh, um, uh, into the uh, door jams, right? And it settles on the, the the kick plate on the door, and also in the recesses of the uh, um, hatchback doesn't come into the vehicle but water does come through the uh, um, the you know the door jams but again does not come into the vehicle uh, because of the seal but I'm not real crazy about it even coming into the door, door jams like that or especially the recess of the uh, hatchback so I, there needs to be some more refining there um, what else can I tell you you know, fuel mileage has been really good. Um, you know, my wife, when she takes it, she keeps it on eco. 
when I take it, I usually have it on sport. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's a lot of fun to drive. It's a nice car. It looks good. Um, resale value on this thing is going to suck ass. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day about uh, getting rid of this, and they were quoting me just a little over 20 grand. <laughs> so these things obviously do not hold their resale value. So if you plan on getting one, uh, I would suggest you probably plan on keeping it. Um, or get the GT model, whereas that resale value may be, uh, may be better. I don't know. But um, that's pretty much it at 25,000 miles. Um, you know, nothing huge. Um, just some little things that are kind of a pain in the ass. The resale value, I think, is, is probably bummed me out the worst out of all of it, guys and gals, because uh, anybody that knows me knows I like to flip cars every uh, couple, two or three years. And uh, but I might end up uh, just keeping this car and giving it to my wife and getting a, a another truck here after a while. But um, yeah, we have another car too. But I really want another truck. <laughs> Anyhow, hey, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And um, sorry it's taking me so long to uh, to do a video, but. Uh, that's what's going on. I've got some more updates in regards to what I'm doing and uh, uh, what I plan to be doing. So stay tuned for that. But uh, I wanted to make this one on about the uh, about the car. I still have to make a video on the house and I still have to make one on the 1090R. Uh, but that's coming. So anyway, hey, check out Street Dojo on Facebook. They got some really killer ass gear and. Uh, you know, if I think you're Street Dojo, hit me up and uh, I'll get you in the group. All right. All right. Holla.